Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the yearly Spooktober. If you don't know that here on my channel every year we do Spooktober season. Last year we watched movies such as Pet Cemetery, Psycho, Poltergeist and so on if you want to watch those. But today we are starting the whole carnival with World War Z. I don't know much about it other than Brad Pitt is in it and that this is a zombie apocalypse. I mentioned that I believe that it says World War C because it's World War Zombies. If you don't know, I asked you guys on Patreon if you could send me your favorite horror movies that I haven't watched. We made a whole poll, we even made several, and we have a lot of good movies to watch. I can even spoil a little bit by saying that we have on the list World War C, Tucker, and Dale versus Evil of the others. We also have American Werewolf in London. I also want to watch a lot more because I am a horror movie fanatic. I have reacted to Scream 2022. I was kind of upset about it. It was not my favorite and I love Scream so much. I'm gonna see if I will edit it and post it. Anyways, but no further ado, if you'd like to watch my full reaction, it will be over on my Patreon. If you'd like to connect all my social media, we'll be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for joining on the Spooktober season, and let's get started with the first movie. I'm so excited for this one. Oh. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> you want to eat pancakes? By the way, what do you want for your birthday? A puppy. A, puppy. a, a stuffed animal puppy? Because that we can do. Did you pack your uh, inhaler? Bathroom seat. Uh, Adding with martial law. Martial law is like um, house rules, but for everybody. Are you ever in places like that with your old job? I quit my old job so I can be with you. Do you miss it? No, I like my new job. All you do is make pancakes in the yeah, morning. Yeah, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> hey, plates in the sink! <laughs> Everyone. Does it live in the jungle? Oh, <laughs> no. Do you eat it on Sundays? No. Does it live on the Great Plains of Africa? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess, yeah. Do people keep it in pens all its life and harvest it for meat? That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Is it an animal you'd have for a pet? Yes. Is it a cat? Yeah. Okay, now we have another. Why are there so many? It's like three in the last five minutes. What is going on? This organization has been tracking the recent outbreak of rabies that began in Taiwan and has now been reported in over 12 countries, responding to allegations he hasn't done enough to prevent the spread. I'm British anymore, baby. I lost your accent a long time ago. Except after two bottles of wine. <laughs> God. Oh boy. Oh, that was a quick turn. They turn in twelve seconds. Yeah, 
Yes. The wife is a baddie. Rach, Rach, look at me, look at me. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. We've done this a hundred times. Look at me, look at me. Breathe into your nose. Okay, we're gonna go to the pharmacy. We're gonna move. It's Jerry. Where are you? Airborne, Lower East Side, Turtle Bay. It's all gone. We barely made it out. What is this? We don't know. How close were you? Face to face. Daddy. That is not water. Honey, give me that. Give me that. Oh, thank you, honey. Where are you? 95, heading north. All right, we'll try to get a helicopter to you. Call you back with an extraction point. Can you hold out for another hour? We have a choice. It's not for old times' sake, my friend. I'll need you. I need you back. Don't forget about it. What do you mean we've lost Boston? All right. Good luck, Jay. Oh boy, everything is gonna be taken out. Better medicine. I'll get us something to eat. I'll meet you back here. Grow the asthma, supposedly. And this shit too is magic for my kid. Thank you. Honey! Where's mommy? What he was grabbing. Oh, great. Now the car's gone. Hey. We knew it. We're stranded. Apartment buildings, 23rd. If we can get to the roof, can you get someone to us? Not tonight. When? The earliest will be sunrise. Sunrise. Tell him I got flares. We'll be on the roof with flares. Listen, Jerry, I will move mountains to get you out here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they just running past him? There's always someone falling. Oh, children. Are you guys hungry? Señora, una cerveza. Oh, does she really want a beer right now? The following message is transmitted at the request of the New Jersey State Police Department. Authorities recommend that the following actions should be taken by all members of the public. Stay indoors if at all possible. Enough food and water supplies for sheltering for one to two weeks. An unidentified virus strain is rapidly spreading across the state of New Jersey. <laughs> used to work in dangerous places and people who moved survived and those who didn't. Movimiento es vida. Movimiento es vida. You have a better chance if you come with us. Mm -hmm. I need anything else before you leave. Oh my god. No deberíamos irnos con ellos. Que no haya donde ir. ¿Qué vamos a hacer cuando se acabe la comida? Nos preocupamos por eso. Can you stop yelling? Come on, guys. Oh, they got me.
Oh my god. Tommy for the win. That's our target. Get us down. I got it in my mouth. Oh no. I'm really liking this movie so far, but the jump scare, it got me. It really got me. Bunk beds are number two, three, and six. Please make yourself at home. We're not dropping you until we can. You're safe. Tell me I'm worried about safe. Maybe. Bigger than our old apartment on 72nd. <laughs> Business worldwide. Is anyone doing better than we are? Maybe. Go talk somewhere else. Go talk. The president is dead. Damn. Four of six joint chiefs, VP missing. Reports of gun battles in the streets of the capital. The parties are panicking. The biggest cities are the worst off. The airlines were the perfect delivery system. Sir, I cannot action that order. Colonel, I'm sorry, but we cannot facilitate an evacuation for you or your men. There is nowhere to evacuate you to. Malnutrition, dirty water, no gas for the winter or transportation, no bullets to fight. It has spread to all corners of the globe. What the hell is it? It's an analogy I keep coming back to is Spanish flu. Spanish flu. It didn't exist in 1918, but by 1920, it killed 3% of the world. He's our best bet at figuring out what this thing is. You all read the same email I did, and it said zombies. Yeah. The earliest mention of the word zombie was in a memo from Camp Humphreys in South Korea. We haven't had contact with them since, but this could lead us to the origin. If we knew where this thing started, then we'd have a chance of developing a vaccine to stop it. We're sending Dr. Fassbach there to look for the source. He's just a kid. You're right. But he could be very clever. No? Your secretary here says you were his best investigator when you were at the UN. I want to send you in with the team. Help Dr. Fosbach find whatever it is he needs. Right. I, I wanted for the circumstances to speak for themselves. No. Captain, I'm not your guy. You were on the ground during the Liberian Civil War. Investigated Chechen war crimes. Sri Lanka in 07. Places you and I both know Dr. Fosbach wouldn't last a night in. Jerry, a handful of SEALs will go with your security force. No. My guys will get you and you assist the doctor pursue any leads. My guys will get you out. We do the heavy lifting. Can't help you. Can't leave my family. Take a look around here, Mr. Lane. Each and every one of these people are here because they serve a purpose. There's no room here for non-essential personnel. It's a long line of people waiting for one of those bugs. You want to help your family? Let's figure out how we stop this. It's your choice, Mr. Lane. It's simple. You don't work for them anymore. Karen. You might not remember what this job did to you, but I do. So do not ask me to say yes to this. I have to go. I'm going to kick us off the ship. I go. You, the girls, Tommy, have a place to stay if I don't. What about, what about Terry? Can he do anything? I don't like Terry or in charge of anything anymore. I keep this with me. I'm calling once a day. As long as I make that call, everything's gonna be okay. I'm coming back. We're gonna make the best of it. Yes, we do. Like we do. Here's baby doll. Daddy's gotta go to work. I want a baby. You cute, all beautiful Tommy the doll. Take care of the ladies for me. I'm already so anxious. Oh. We don't know what we're walking into, so we do what they say. We move, we move, they stop, we stop. If things were to get crazy, focus on their boots, focus on their voices, we'll be all right. These guys are hammers. To hammers, everything looks like nails. I heard that. You were meant to. So you see something that's important, you call it out. We'll make it happen. Okay. You think we're gonna find anything? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna find something. Mother Nature is a serial killer. No one's better. Yeah. More creative. Like all serial killers, she can't help the urge to want to get caught. What good are all those brilliant crimes if, if no one takes the credit? So she leaves crumbs. Now the hard part, why you spend a decade in school, is seeing the crumbs for the clues they are. Sometimes the thing you thought was the most brutal aspect of the virus turns out to be the chink in its armor. And she loves disguising her weaknesses as strengths. It's a bitch. <laughs> I like that guy. All non-essential personnel. 
given M6 status, and it groups A through E need to report to the flight deck for relocation. Only a sister. Yes, sweetheart. Why does your teeth funny? It's jet fuel, young lady. <laughs> I wish. d cell has trouble filtering it out, probably because there's too many people on this ship. Keep your finger off the trigger. Okay. You can't even see them coming. Oh, yeah, okay. I regret saying that I liked him. What is this? What happened to him? He slipped. He's dead. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go! Every time I say I like someone, they die in the worst ways possible. A boy just died out there, he was 23. Tell me why? Good. The guy just shot himself. A doctor, a virologist. What are you talking about? He's supposed to be our best hope. Well, he's not our best hope anymore. That guy volunteered to come here, he didn't have to, you know. None of them did. Trying to figure out what the hell this thing is. Well, shit happened. The doctor would have strongly agreed with you. Yeah. The noise, are they drawn to it? Yeah, town draws them. Body shots only seem to slow them down. Headshots do the trick, but just to be safe, we tend to burn them when we can. Fought in Zeke yet? Yeah. Where? Philly, Newark. It's bad. What about Houston? St. Louis? Baltimore. Atlanta? Detroit? Guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't know of any place back home that's doing very well. The other guy was a virologist. What do you do? There's a memo sent from this installation 11 days ago. It had the word zombie in it. Do you know anything about it? An email, not a memo. Pretty obvious nobody back home bothered to read it. 15, 16 guys in this room. Most of them guards, but all of them were bitten. Trying to get this man handcuffed to the cop. Now, our colonel said he was the first one. This colonel, is he around? Oh, yeah, he's right here. Oh. Uh, yeah, but he's moving. Gary Shackle, do you know who bit him, what bit him? He was the base doctor. He just returned from the field, been sent out to verify the death of a soldier who'd just gone AWOL the week before. Some villagers have found this guy foaming at the mouth, he was in some kind of black tar. And he tried to bite one of them. They shot him, tied him up, and threw him in a barn. Oh, great, yep. That's all we know, except the doctor comes back here and begins attacking his patients. The soldier, you know where he came from? No. One he might have come in contact with. No, it's gotta be records. You're welcome to take a look if you want. And the origin could have come from anywhere. Shame you had to fly all the way out here to figure that out. How would you all escape this? The expenditure of ammunition. Is that how you tweaked your leg? No, this shit's been burning me a while. This prick stands right in the mix. While seven or eight of them turn Zeke all at the same time. They got no time for old dirty bastard here. Biting everything like fat kids love Twix. Got no time for his lucky yet. Ain't it obvious I'm charmed? Once I saw Bitten, it turned to 12 seconds. Same here? I have for 10 minutes. Yeah, Davidson went, and he turned in 10 minutes. Evie? Me, so my god, my god, my god, are they eating me? Please, no time for that freak. He's CIA. Got caught selling guns to North Korea. Davidson. He turned in 10 minutes. That doesn't sound viral to me at all, sports fan. You with the CIA? But they're not with me. And who are you? UN. Oh my god. <laughs> Captain, put on the world music. The day is saved. Why'd you sell guns to the North? Why not? Are they surviving this? Indeed they are. Using your guns. Guns are half measures. How then? <laughs> they took away Zeke's exponential power. They pulled the teeth of all 23 million in less than 24 hours. In this feat of social engineering and history. Brilliant. No teeth. No, no bite. bite. No great spread. Oh, so he's been doing it himself. Okay. Why do they move like a plague? Why is Israel winning? How's Israel winning? They sealed off their entire country days before the undead attacked man. First to know, first to act. People have been building walls there for two millennia. Mm. Yeah, but finish all those thousands of years of work a week ago. Impeccable timing is all. You want answers? Jürgen von Braun. That's the man in Jerusalem you want to see. Going to Jerusalem. I'm your co-pilot. Hello? Gary? Honey? Karen. Karen? Karen? Hello? No way. No. 
to my mother, Dallas. We're pacing a hole in the floor right now. If she's still there, better chance you've seen her before me. That's all. Big plane. We got a lot of room. Better the devil you know than the one you doubt. Be all right. Pedal your ass off. Make sure Mavic here keeps his nose of that plane pointed towards the sun. Just remember, don't lock the bows if you're lying to the inmate. Tell me ten more times. We've got one chance to fuel their plane, so let's do it right. Oh, don't call. God damn, shut that thing off! Looks like we just woke the dead. Uh, now respect for them. Please turn off all pages and cell phone. You really did it, Karen. Clear path through Zeke! You paddle like hell! Uh oh, great. Uh oh, 12 seconds. <gasps> oh no! And it was that guy too! Goddamn Zeke. I got you, Captain. Just say the word. Sorry, boys. I got this one. We need to detach the fuel line. Drill better pay off. Okay, we're clear. All right, we are all set. Let's get out of here. Uh -oh. Hi, baby. Hi, hi. They tried to call you. You know, I was a uh, bad time. I was running around. Were you okay? <laughs> he almost died. Yeah, everything's okay. I'm okay. That's the spirit. Listen, Priya didn't work out. Mm -mm. Now it looks like we're gonna have to go to Israel. We'll try to get some rest on the flight. Where are the kids? I think they're over there, really. They're good. And I got Connie right here. Baby? Best immediate land. Contact Mossad, Officer Jurgen Formbron, Special Envoy of the United Nations. There's a lot of people there, so it seems okay. The problem with most people is that they don't believe something can happen until it already has. It's not stupidity or weakness, it's just human nature. True. How did you know? Old Lane wrote a self-defeating Jeremiah about his employer, the UN, back in 2010. Caused a few ripples, sidelined your career, but you'd have parlayed those ripples into a self-righteous book. No one knows for profit. How did Israel know? We intercepted a communique from an Indian general saying they were fighting the Rakshasha. Translation, zombies. Technically, undead. Jurgen Warmbra, high-ranking official in Mossad, arrived as sober, efficient, not terribly imaginative. And yet, you build a wall because you read a communique that mentions the word zombie? Well, if put like that, I'd be skeptical as well. In the 30s, Jews refused to believe they could be sent to concentration camps. In 72, we refused to fathom we'd be massacred in the Olympics. The month before October 1973, we saw Arab troop movements, and we unanimously agreed they didn't pose a threat. Well, a month later, the Arab attack almost drove us into the sea, so we decided to make a change. Change. The tenth man. Nine of us look at the same information and arrive at the exact same conclusion. It's the duty of the tenth man to disagree. No matter how improbable it may seem, the tenth man has to start digging with the assumption that the other nine are wrong. And you were the tenth man. Precisely. Since everyone assumed that this talk of zombies was cover for something else, I began my investigation on the assumption that when they said zombies, they meant zombies. Patient zero from India. That's the problem. There's so many potential sources in play that no one knows where it began. The organ trade in Germany. Strange examples of violent behavior across the Asian peninsula. Meanwhile, the zombie plague keeps spreading, and we do what we can. These are the Jerusalem Salvation Gates, two of ten portals to the security perimeter into fortified Israel letting people in. Every human being we save is one less zombie to fight. Oh. It has hit Israel. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's okay. Totally, it's okay. Get into India. Where would I start? Who would I speak with? India is a black hole. Forget about patient zero. I can't do that. It's too late for me to build a wall. 
I'm running out of time. I need specifics. I need answers. I, I don't have answers. All you can do is find a way to hide. And quick. Coming over the top! God. Oh, that was so close. Oh, okay. I believe they're blind now. They can only hear. Oh, she got bit. You're not gonna turn. You're not gonna turn. He figured it out. Oh. I feel like I was holding my breath that entire time. Really? I'm Jerry, by the way. <laughs> I just chopped off your hand. Come on, got up. Got up. Here we go. <laughs> Doctor? No, has some training in the field. Um, how did you know? Cutting it off, how did you know it would work? I didn't. Now I'm just a liability. <laughs> this prick Wait. stands right in the mix while seven or eight of them turn Zeke all at the same time. Now you tweaked your leg? Nah, shit's been bugging me a while. Got no time for his luck yet. Our part is seeing the crumbs for the clues they are. Sometimes the thing you thought was the most brutal aspect of the virus it turns out to be the chink in its armor. Don't have answers. All you can do is find a way to hide. Jerry? Are you okay? Where are you, babe? What's happening? I love you. I'm sorry. You've got to get Jerry now. I'll find him. Jerry? Where are you? In the last flight out. Listen, my phone is dying. I need some quick intel. You've got to locate the closest medical research facility, a CDC, a WHO, something that uh, makes vaccine. And a close airport to it. I don't understand. <sighs> no time to explain. Just... Okay, okay. Well, Jerry, I still don't know where you are. Yes, let's look at what's going on. You don't want to take this. We made contact with Cardiff Airport, Wells. The people directed us. There is WHO research facility nearby, but they are not sure it's still operational. This is location. We make it. Oh, this dog. Someone turned in there, didn't they? I dropped my popcorn. Oh no.
But how did he turn after so long? Did he do it himself? Oh my god. Oh no. Prepare for impact. The girl is gone. Uh oh. You really want to do that? Oh. Give me something good. Sir, Cardiff Airport lost contact with the plane. Lane is MIA. I'm sorry, sir. Ma'am, Thierry would like a word with you. Captain, it's only been 48 hours. He's a resourceful man. There's every chance he could have survived. Sir, I gave him my word we would look after his family. Yes, sir. I understand. They have to leave now because they think he's dead? That is so messed up. But they don't know that. <laughs> oh, they need to change that. You're a tough bastard. True. A lucky one. Also true. Who are you? Brad Pitt. Take it. There's a woman. Who are you? Why'd you come here? Why'd you keep looking at him? Because he's in charge. You know what this place is? I do. It's why I'm here. Then you understand how this must look to us. This is important for you. Don't worry about it now. Three days. Give me the phone. Well, give me the phone. As soon as you answer my question. Call it. Call the number. They'll tell you why I am. Call it. Jerry. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. My God. We thought you were dead. Where are you? Jerry, I'm with a couple of nervous gentlemen. They need some bona fides before I can speak with you. Of course. This is Thierry Romatoni. Deputy Secretary General, United Nations. To whom am I speaking? Where's Karen? Jerry, why didn't Karen answer? <laughs> they kicked her out. I'm sorry, Jerry. I, I, I did what I could. What does that mean? I've got to calm down. No, stop. Stop. Emily has been sent to a refugee camp in Nova Scotia. Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll be safe. All right, Terry told you who I am, what I used to do. Right? And trust me when I tell you they're not safe. I understand how you feel. Do you? Yes. Yes. You have family? No. No. And you couldn't possibly understand, could you? Damn. I lost my son and wife as well. But uh, I lost my son to something that had once been my wife. <gasps> well, we have all lost someone, Mr. Lang. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Why did you come here? What do you need from us? Your worst disease. <laughs> You want the what? Deadly pathogen. With a high They're mortality. keeping one there? But curable. Well, obviously, too. You'd want a bacteria rather than a virus, I would think. 
typhus. Meningitis, scarlet fever. Rocky Mountain fever. Anyway, excuse me, what's this for? Mr. Lane believes we can use such a disease against the, the undead. We give you points for originality, Mr. Lane, if we hadn't already tried that first thing. One of the many things a virus or bacteria needs to thrive is a live host. Functioning circulatory system. I'm afraid it boils down to one simple fact. Can't make a dead person sick. It's not for them. For us. I believe these things have a weakness, and that weakness is weakness, our weakness. I have witnessed them literally bypass people, walk right around them like a river around a rock. Why? I think if those people were sick, I think they were terminal, and these things could sense it. I think they're spreading a pathogen, and they need a healthy host. But even if you're right, I mean, infecting the populace with a lethal mm -hmm. illness is not exactly a cure. It's not a I cure. I was way off. It's camouflage. It's camouflage. There's a natural precedent. Hungry predators would avoid diseased bodies. Equipped with the right pathogen, our troops would be essentially invisible to the enemy. You understand the only way to prove this theory of yours is for some idiot to infect themselves with a lethal pathogen and then meet with her face to face. Yes. Do we have what we need to try it? We have all we could want. Typhus, H1N1, SARS. Problem is, they're all stored in B-Wing. What's the matter with B-Wing? Dr. Spellman, my chief vaccinologist. Within hours of the outbreak, he'd been sent blood samples to try and isolate the pathogenic cause. Unfortunately, this is B-Wing now. Oh. Tell us about that now. How many? How many are there? There were 80 people working there. I've never seen a move like that. They're dormant. They're awaiting stimulus. Now this is Vault 139. That's where your samples would be. This is the sky bridge that connects B-Wing to the main building here. And this is the only thing standing between us and the sky bridge. So, what do you propose, Mr. Lane? Oh my god. You are not serious. B-Wing's a maze. We'll never make it back alone. We don't even know if his theory is correct. Well, I know I'm not asking one of you to take it back. Each has its merits. Last just thought. It's too loud. Let's go. Try not to kill one. It only makes the rest of them more aggressive. You sure you want to do this? Of course I'm not. Let's go. Fair point. I thought the reason they didn't attack was because they were quiet and everyone else was like screaming. If Shadowpan comes down this hall before we do, you seal these doors for good. Understood? Okay. <sighs> now my heart is pounding again. Wait, did they manage to charge his phone? Because I thought he said the battery died. I'm like two years behind. Oh. There they are. Oh no. They're fine. They're fine. For now. He keeps making so much noise. I thought we weren't supposed to use the gun. What are you doing? So get in the vault. Oh, oh no. Go! 
Great. Not gonna make it. You heard what Javi said. We cannot open it. They're not alone. We can't open it. They are coming back. We can't leave them there. Come on. Really? Five six nine six four. Five six nine six four. Oh. What happened to Jerry? Not that one. Not that one. Is he going? Boy, this could actually kill him. Jesus. He's gonna inject himself. Exactly. This can either work or go very bad. We have no idea which one's gonna work. We don't know if any of them will work. If he uses anything he took from that left case, he's dead anyway. What's he doing? How long does he have to wait? Before he's infected, not long. But that's not the question we're really asking, is it? Oh, please. Walked right past them. He walked right past them. Like there was nobody. Uh oh. Everyone is there. This isn't the end. Not even close. We've lost entire cities. When there's no more people left to infect, they go dormant. Whole cities are lost. The World Health Organization reports today that help may soon hybridize meningitis strain. H1N1. Still don't know how it started. World Health Organization has created a vaccine that works as a kind of camouflage, making people who receive it invisible to the infected. We bought ourselves some time. Volunteer forces are delivering the vaccine to areas that have been cordoned up. Distribution efforts begin in earnest. On the importance of getting the information out to those still alive. But it's given us a chance. camouflage have been largely successful. Others have found a way to push back. Light him up. Light him up. If you can fight, fight. Help each other. Be prepared for anything. Our war has just begun. That was so good. <laughs> just wow. How am I gonna explain this movie? It was absolutely amazing watching this i really enjoyed it i barely ate any popcorn i see now we are starting off the spooky season in the best way possible we are starting off with a movie that i ended up loving so much and i'm so happy that someone decided to request it and that it won the entire poll i am absolutely over the moon brad pitt is such a good actor 
well that makes me even more hyped for the next movie we're gonna watch and uh thank you guys so, so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching it together with me if you'd like to watch my full reaction it's over on patreon and if you'd like to connect you can find me on all social media such as my instagram twitter twitch and discord everything will be linked down below thank you guys again so much for watching and i wish you a wonderful october bye friends <laughs>